Welcome friends, I'm glad you decided to join me uh, today. We are updating this video with the latest data for 2021 and proven the quality as well. We first published this video in October of 2021 and the quality was uh, literally poor. So uh, today, together we're going to make the most important investment of our lives. It's not stocks, it's not bonds, it's not real estate, it's not cryptos or NFTs. We're going to invest on our most precious asset, our health. We're going uh, to get back in control. In this video, you're going to look at where we stand as a country. We're going to compare ourselves to the other developed countries. We're going to use the OECD data organization for economic development and cooperation that was started uh, in Paris after World War II initially actually to manage the, the Marshall Plan. Subsequently, other countries are also included as well. But uh, before we dive in, let me introduce myself. I'm Dr. T. I grew up in Madeira Island off the coast of mainland Portugal. I did my medical school in Lisbon at Nova University. Subsequently moved to New York City and did my internship in internal medicine in Brooklyn uh, Jewish and subsequently moved to University of Medicine at the interest of New Jersey and did a general cardiology and a electrophysiology fellowship as well. Uh, from there, I moved to Sanford School of Medicine, the University of Dakota, where I became a chief of cardiology. Uh, a few years later, I moved to the Black Hills of South Dakota, where I joined a cardiology practice in the area, and we started actually a group called the Heart Doctors. After uh, Three decades of practice in conventional medicine, I've realized we're very good at putting out the fires, treating the heart attacks, treating the strokes, treating the peripheral vascular disease. Uh, however, we're not very good at looking at the primordial causes of these uh, diseases. We're really great at mopping the floor. We're not good at turning off uh, the faucet. So let's uh, dive in. Uh, let's look at life expectancy at birth. You can see on the left hand side we have Japan, Switzerland, Spain. Uh, the best we United States, we're not even in the middle. We have a life expectancy of 78.9 as compared to 84 for uh, the countries on the left. And if you look at uh, life expecting the 1970s and uh, compare to uh, 2019 in the last 50 years has uh, definitely improved across the board in many countries. Uh, the countries improved the most were, however, was uh, Korea and actually Turkey and India. If you look at the OECD uh, uh, data uh, uh, for 2017 uh, compared to uh, 1970, 1970 we are actually our life expectancy was one year more than the OECD uh, countries. Uh, we now uh, uh, two years uh, 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 behind. If you look at life expectancy 65, in other words, if you're 65, uh, how many years you have left, you can see on the left hand side, you best again are Japan, France, Spain, United States, you're not even in the middle of 19.5 as compared to 21.922 for the countries on the right. Even if you look at our friends to the north in Canada, they're doing better than we are. If you look at uh, reduction in life expectancy during the pandemic, we lost 1.6 years more than any other countries that uh, lost less than a year. And here's what's going on. So if you look at obesity and overweight, on the right we have Mexico, Chile, and the United States, we are number three. Again, the best are Japan, Korea, and uh, France with uh, less obesity than we have. The entire world has significantly amount of obesity approaching 50, 60%, but again, we are on 73% range. And uh, for both major measured and self-reported data, men are more likely than women to be overweight. And so how do we define this? We define this by the uh, body mass index and essentially 
is uh, your weight in kilograms divided by the height in square meters. If you're less than 25, you're considered normal. If you're 25 and 50 overweight, more than uh, 30, you are uh, considered obese. And uh, let's look at uh, uh, diabetes. Again, uh, on average, 6.7% of the adult population uh, OECD have diabetes. If you look on the right hand side, worse is Mexico, South Africa, Turkey. We are number four, 10.8 percent population, almost double. The best countries are Ireland, UK, France, uh, with half the incidence of diabetes. If you look at the infant mortality, we are also worse than the average OECD uh, countries. Let's look at um, uh, myocardial infarction. If you look at uh, myocardial infarction, in other words, if you admit to a hospital with a heart attack, what's your chance of dying the next 30 days? And uh, it has improved again over the last decade, but we're doing actually pretty well here, about 4.9%, much better than the other countries. This has to do with the system is in place uh, to deal with an acute emergency. Uh, the same thing if you look at the 30 day mortality for ischemic strokes. If you are admitted to a hospital with a stroke, what's your chance of being alive at 30 days? You are doing pretty well at 4.1%. Let's look at the They cost. spend 8.8% of GDP. We spend 17%. We per capita expenses, uh, we also uh, spending almost $11,000 compared to four, five thousand dollars for the other OECD countries. And these are things that make me go, hmm, what's going on here? And what's going on here is the last transition has not gone well for us and the other countries. And uh, uh, the good news is, in fact, uh, we have the ability, the knowledge, the know-how to reverse all these chronic conditions, the coronary disease, the type 2 diabetes, the high blood pressure, the high cholesterol, the even early stages of prostate cancer. We could affect gene expression, reverse aging, lengthening telomeres. And this is all possible through interventions in lifestyle medicine. And here's an example of how powerful just a whole foods plant-based diet uh, can do to uh, one of the main arteries in the front of the heart called the left anterior descent. This uh, happened in a time where there was no uh, statins. They didn't exist uh, uh, at that uh, time yet. We will continue addressing on this channel all these issues over time. We're going to change one person at a time. I'm counting on you. Before we go, we have a quiz. What country spends more in healthcare? Percentage of GDP. You already know the answer. And the bottom line is your health is too important to be delegated to others, let's just take uh, control. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel, click the notification bell, write a comment, ask questions. I'm trying to make these videos as interactive as possible. We'll uh, publish these videos on the second and fourth Friday of each month. See you then.